everybody and welcome to another tutorial. I'm Mason Alt. I'm going to be teaching you today how to add a image to a button so that the instead of having just text as your button you're going to have the actual um, an image there that you added to the program. So um, first off what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up jcreator alrighty let's go ahead and make a new project real quick Let's name it um, tutorial project. You name it whatever heck you want. Um, go ahead and put it where you can find it again. I just keep a giant directory of all my jcreator stuff. Hit finish and finish again. Alrighty. So first things first, just go ahead and change your normal stuff up here. Alrighty, um, and then, okay, yeah, you should go away. Alrighty, um, and then I've already kind of got a, an example over here in the left, we'll basically we'll, exactly what we'll be doing. Um, so, alrighty, so what we need to do um, off the bat is just create what we're going to be doing. Um, so we're going to add a J button called right, it's because um, you name it whatever you want it to. Then I'm going to add an image called right arrow, and I'm going to add an image icon called image icon right arrow. So I'll just implement this way, it, everything is initialized right off the bat, so I don't got to worry about anything. Um, so first things first, here's how your, your layout or your comment should go. Um, at least in my opinion. So if you kind of look at this, we kind of just put on our cookie cutter build here. Um, so what we're saying is, um, the first part we're gonna add our, we're gonna do our layout. Second part we're gonna add our images and image icons. Third part we're gonna add our buttons with image icons, and then. Uh, and then you, every category, except for layout, obviously, because there's only one layout, has its subcategories where I say, well, this is image and image icons of right, the button right, and then this is my buttons with image icons, and this is button right. So, first of all, we're going to go ahead and create our layout. I'm going to use a null layout. You can use whatever layout you want to. It does not matter. It will not affect this by any means. Um, your image and image icons. So if you look up above, we have our image. We have our image icon. So what we need to do is we need to first create an image. Um, so before we do that, we need to figure out what image we want to add to uh, our project. So I've already got an image called right arrow.png. Um, if we open it up real quick, I use a program called paint.net. Um, you can go to get paint net and uh, it'll this will be the program it's kind of like an in-between version of Photoshop and regular paint so um, let's say you pulled an image off of the internet and it's really big okay um, so if you do use this program you go up to image resize and then you can resize this button so I don't know let's say I want 80 resize bam now it's a little bit bigger as you see when you increase in size it gets a little fuzzy yada yada so when you're all done just save it um, but I've already resized my button to what I want it to be so next thing we need to do is we need to add it to our project so go ahead and open up where you um, where you saved your project at and then open up the classes folder of that and just drag and drop it right into there because this is the code base the classes folder is the code base um, this is where it finds everything. So when you call upon git code base, um, which you'll see in a second, you'll see that we we have to have it in here, otherwise it won't find it. Um, so go ahead and close out of that, and then we'll open up our project. Um, so on the right side here, um, what we'll need to do now that we got our layout is we need to add our image. So we're gonna like I said above, we named our image right arrow. So we're gonna set our right arrow equal to something. We're going to get an image from the code base. So now we're getting the location of the code base. And then you're going to type in the the name of your um, 
of your image with the extension. If you don't know the extension type, um, we'll go back over to uh, where we put it. If you don't know what the extension type is, like if it doesn't show up .png, this is a setting you have to add to Windows in order to show you the extension of known file types. If you don't know it, you can uh, right click it, go to properties, um, and then you'll see right here type of file, um, you'll see a .png. So whatever, if it's, you know, left arrow and then you have .png here, just put left arrow .png. So that's how you figure out the extension. So now we've got our, our image. We could use our image. We could add our image via, jot, you know, um, down here in our paint method. Otherwise, what we want to do is our goal is to add this to a, a button. So in order to do that, the only thing that can be added to a button is an image icon. So we need to create an image icon. Well, we already implemented it up here. It's called IC right arrow. And we're going to make it a new image icon and named right arrow because the image icon parameters is I need an image because I'm going to create that and take that image and make it into an icon so um, there you go that's how you would add go from step one is going to be to imp, you know initialize everything step two is going to be um, you have to set a layout obviously and then also you need to add your your image Step three is add your image icon, and now step four is just add your button. So we already called our button right up here, the J button. So we're going to say right is a new J button. And now normally you would be something like this, you know, um, and you'd be done. Because now your button would say test in it, and you're good. Well, image or buttons, J buttons can have two different parameters. They can either have the text, which is a string, or you could have a image icon. So in this case, we want to add our image icon to it. So now our J button, instead of saying test or hello or right or whatever, now it'll show the image icon of right arrow. If we trace back, we go, okay, well, where's right arrow? Um, oops, I didn't mean to put it. I mean to do IC right arrow because we need an image icon in there. So if we trace this back to IC right arrow. We go back up here. Oh, image icon right arrow. Oh, that's a new image icon, and that's using the image right arrow. Well, let's go find where right arrow is. Well, right arrow is right here, and when we see that right arrow is an image from the code base, and it's called right arrow.png. So basically, we went from create an image to create an image icon with that image, and then creating a button with that image icon. So it kind of seems like a a really long and drawn out process, but welcome to programming. So now all we need to do is just finish adding our button to our layout. Um, if you're following along with me exactly, then what I did is I created a null layout and then I added my button. Um, or I set my button to a, a J button with the image icon I see right arrow and then I added my button to my null layout and null layout you just put this dot add and then whatever your button name is then I created it my button being a, an action listener so that whenever it, it goes and is clicked it listens to the actual button and not anything else um, and then I set my bounds which in null layout you have to set bounds and the first parameter is your X position, second parameter is Y position, third parameter is going to be width, and fourth parameter is height. So here we go, we just added our buttons, we have everything well commented right now. Um, the only other thing else we need to do is just um, add our um, what our button would do. Um, I'm not going to in this case because I don't I'm not, you know, the point of this is a tutorial to show you how to get an image onto an image, uh, onto a button. So, um, but we have to have this, otherwise it'll say, well, we've got a listener, but we've got nothing, you know, nothing's there to show us what will happen if it was clicked. So, um, sometimes when you start your J application, uh, you buttons won't appear right away or whatever. Um, so until it's hovered over, I want to say we can do that and it'll fix it, but I'm not sure. 
yeah. Um, eventually, you'll call upon a repaint eventually down the line because um, you're not just going to add a button and be done with that. So then your button will automatically appear, but if you hover over it for now, it'll work just fine. So um, as you can see, it's just a button. It doesn't do anything, and it has our image. You can kind of see, okay, so you got like this extra girth. You can see the the actual border of the image and whatnot. So um, let's say we wanted it to be a little bit exactly to the image maybe. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go back to our image real quick. This is going to show you if you're using a no layout how to get your image how to get your button fit to your image. Um, there's two ways of doing it. There's a really more complicated way of doing it but I'm not going to teach you that way because it doesn't work 100% of the time. I'm going to show you just the, the easy way. So go ahead and go to your tutorial or wherever you're at. Right click your image again, go to properties, um, go to details, and you'll see your width and height right here. So 33 by 25. So let's go back into our project. Let's make our width 33 and our height 25. Let's go ahead and replay it. So there you see now it's pretty much exact on. So you're good to go. And you can, you know, do whatever you want with that and you'll be good to go. Other than that, um, you should know the basics how to add uh, an image to a button. So once again, um, our step one is to add, you know, create the buttons, you know, implement, initialize them. Um, step two is going to be to um, add your image and then uh, step three is going to be add your image icon and then step four is just to add your button with that image icon so um, it's pretty uh, once you get that four step down um, of how to do each individual step, you're good to go. So, all right, well.